It's Monday morning and we have new developments right now this morning concerning a shooting at the Ambassador Bridge. A man was shot by border agents at that bridge. It doesn't happen often. Right now, that man's being held by Detroit police. And 7 Action News reporter Nima Shafe is live near the bridge. Nima, what do we know about this man? Alicia, good morning. This morning, we know that the 22-year-old man shot by Customs and Border Patrol agents early Sunday morning was on the run after an altercation with police in Windsor. In fact, we're also learning this morning he has a history of run-ins with Canadian authorities. In fact, Windsor police tell us about 20 minutes before being shot at the Ambassador Bridge, the man flashed a gun and dared officers in Windsor to shoot him. Fleeing from officers, he drove across the bridge, and as he approached the Customs and Border Patrol agent, he got out of his black Ford Explorer, waving a gun again, only to be shot by officers after ignoring commands to drop it. The man was shot in his left arm and is now in custody of Detroit police after being treated at Detroit Receiving Hospital. And we're learning this morning that charges could come down in the next 24 hours. As we learn more information about this ongoing case, we'll pass it along to you. We're live this morning at the base of the Ambassador Bridge. I'm Nima Shafe, 7 Action News. Thank you, Nima.